Well, the back. Normally, I don't come right to the microphone. Normally, we just kind of start playing, but uh, we're actually going to start with something very different. So, first of all, I tried to put some of the accolades from this past school year uh, in the program, and uh, for those of you who are unaware, we did uh, back in March the entire music program went to Walt Disney World, and uh, let's give a big round of applause for our But it does create a challenge because we're talking mid-March. So uh, I know specifically with the wind ensemble, like I'm oh, constantly trying to pick repertoire that's going to push them in. Uh, something that even in that truncated time from January 1st when we came back after Christmas to that March, um, the middle of March, trying to have music that was difficult, hold their, not hold their attention while also um, pushing their limits technically, uh, but also we're going to do really well. Very pleased to say we were able to get a superior rating even in that short amount of time. Normally, we do it. Normally, I would think that same difficulty of music, but we would have from January until now to work on, where there we had two and a half months. So the, the dilemma is, well, what do we do when we come back? So the thing that I wanted to do is I thought I'd do something very different and kind of do a pops concert with the Wind Ensemble, and that's what you're going to notice uh, with uh, our final three selections with a little tribute to uh, Louis Armstrong, and then uh, we have something from The Incredibles, and, and then another little Latin piece at the end, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, and I was very pleased with that. But over the course of the last several months, it seems like the only time that I was making a post on our band Facebook page was to share the passing of another former band member. And it was very sad having a member of our class of 2006, a star bass player and trumpet player, Zachary Bailey, uh, suddenly passed away at the age of 31. And uh, that hit me pretty hard. Um, that was just a little over three weeks ago. About uh, maybe a month and a half ago, we found out about the passing of former brother Gregory, Leonardo, who was actually the director of bands for 10 years here at Calvert Hall, and I know the impact that he made on all the many alumni and band members um, constantly hearing good things. And so that was very sad to hear of his passing. Um, before that, we actually had Mr. Uh, Levent, who was just an incredible father to uh, just a couple years ago, a graduate and a great individual of our band program. So it's been kind of like this whirlwind, and just kind of even going back to November with trying to celebrate coming home from MetLife and just winning our third straight national championship. <laughs> I'm trying to control my joy and excitement, but also dealing with the fact that I had just lost my grandma. So with this piece that we're going to start with, we really want to dedicate this this we did do at Disney World, and um, it's a really beautiful piece called Hymn Song uh, on Philip Bliss. And um, Philip Bliss was a really well-known hymn writer in the middle in the mid 1800s, and he wrote hundreds upon hundreds of hymns, many of which you probably actually sing every Sunday in church out of your hymnals. And one of his most endearing ones is taken from a poem by a Chicago businessman. Uh, Horatio Spafford, entitled, It Is Well. So I'm going to try to get through this. So Horatio Spafford, he was a Chicago businessman. He was planning a trip with his family uh, to Europe. This is uh, in 1873. And he was a very devout religious family and part of his community, church community. And they planned this trip to Europe uh, to spend the holidays there. And unexpectedly, a business deal came up and he was delayed. But he went ahead and sent his wife and four children. A little over a week into that trip over the Atlantic, the ship is hit by a Scottish uh, vessel the locker room, and it sank and it sank within 12 minutes. Hundreds of individuals was was taken to the bottom, 
um, and only saving his wife uh, and his four daughters were um, had passed. And his wife uh, gets found on trying to cling to a piece of wreckage, and she arrives in the shores of Cardiff and just sends a message saying, saved them, saved alone, what do I do? So Horatio immediately gets on a vessel to cross the Atlantic. As he is nearing that area where the ship went down, the captain calls him into his quarters and says, this is where the tragedy took place. And he didn't look down, he looked to the heavens because his, he knew his four daughters was with his Lord and Savior. And he immediately went back to his room and penned this poem, It Is Well. So I'd like to actually start by bringing out Junior um, Trumpet, Kashmir Prozeki, to read the poem for you. And then we're going to play this piece on the hymn song, Philip Bliss. We'd just like to dedicate this for anybody who may be out there dealing with grief, continuing the struggle with grief and sorrow, the passing. Um, and I would encourage you to go and find this. It's a beautiful piece. Um, there are recordings of it as well all over the internet. And Casimir goes out.
And uh, so we're very excited to uh, hopefully next spring be debuting a piece uh, written for the students that you see behind me. So very excited about that. So very good. Cool. This evening before our concert, we met uh, downstairs in the band room at 6.15. And it has been three weeks since I've seen everybody because we rehearsed in the morning and you guys had a, a, um, uh, AP tests. And most days were decimated, especially with my group having primarily juniors and seniors. Some sophomores as well, but we're constantly missing guys for rehearsal. So tonight was literally the first time in three weeks since probably the end of April where I've actually had a rehearsal with everybody. Uh, so it was pretty fantastic. But I gotta just acknowledge, uh, so that you can get my uh, drift here, with all the students that took at least one AP test, please stand.